Hey everyone, Fox here. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit, a little bit more quiet. Wow, I really stumbled over my words there. Than uh, usually, because I think everyone's asleep right now. It's like almost one here. So uh, yeah, we're battling Kurt Shaka. He's a really nice man. Please go check him out. His link will be in the description down below. Uh, and he has a freaking scary team. I'm just gonna press A. Uh, hope we get connected real quick. He has a super scary team. He has Galarian, Dom, Gengar. He brings more Pico. Okay, I respect it. Clef, Suicune, Registeel. You can see why this team is so scary. I mean, Galarian, Dom, Gengar, it's just, it's just abnormally stupid. In combination with Clef as well, Jesus. Um, I'm just gonna lead my D'Artagnan, so I can at least punish the Galarian Dom if it comes in. Uh, something that I was scared of is not here. I don't remember, I'm gonna grab his team real quick. Let's see, this team was, wait, let me switch to IBA, match up. Uh, something I was scared of is not here. The God of War, God of War is not here. God of War went in on my team. Look at my special switches, those are Umbreon and Amoongus. And they get bobbed, they get absolutely bobbed. Also Quagsire is not here, so Hydro Pump is super free. Well, he has a Suicune, never mind. <laughs> it's not super free. Um, doesn't bring Flygon either. Bishop is a bitch as well. So he leaves that as well, so that's great. Um, good luck, have fun. Two cars. Uh, let's see what we can do. Um, not extremely confident in the team, because I didn't spend too much time on it. But he leads Dom Manitan, which is why I let Kelio. Now, he kind of has to suspect Scarf. I think he really does. I'm just gonna secret sword. I'm just gonna secret sword. I have to. I for real have to here. Like we can hope maybe that he thinks I'm not scarred and just stays in. That's always an option. That happened the last time I battled the Galarian Dom. I just took it out turn one, <laughs> which is amazing. But I think we could expect a switch maybe to like a Suicune maybe. He does withdraw, okay. To the clef, okay. Spadef clef, maybe? Um, let's see, let's see. What's my switching for this again? Uh, it's a moose. A moose. Let's see what we can do. I'm actually kind of nervous with the bow, man. I don't know why. I am recording, which is always amazing. Let's grab the calc real quick. Even if he goes like for a flamethrower straight up, I'm not too scared. I have clear smog, so I'm not scared of calm mind either. Yeah, I'm just gonna look. I can either spore here or clear smog, and it really doesn't matter what I do. It really doesn't matter what I do. So I'm gonna go for the spore first. He psychics me. Okay, fine, fine. Does over half, bro. That is a ton. Okay, we spore. He's asleep. Glad I spored actually. I'm gonna clear smog here, I think. I could have made an aggressive play there as well. I could have made an aggressive play. That's actually a play I don't agree with on my end. But yeah. Okay, so Calm Mind, Soft Ball, Psychic, Moonblast. That's the set. I think that's the set. Um, do I want to just Sludge Bomb? I can kind of just Sludge Bomb. Hope he doesn't wake up immediately. Still fast asleep. Yo, is that a crit? No, that's not a crit. If he wakes up, he needs to soft boil, so I can kind of pull a switch into my... Wait, are we seeing lefties? I'm so dumb. Uh, he needs to roost or soft boil, so I can pull a switch into my... 
banded Axorus, I think. Yeah, I can pull a switch into Axorus. Because he needs to stop world here. I really hope it's not Kibia. I really hope it's not Kibia, baby. We break the mold and it's still fast asleep. That's amazing. I can go for an Earthquake here. Because Earthquake hits everything really hard. Um, the Earthquake is super fine here. We got really lucky sleep turns though. So I'm glad we <laughs> I'm glad we got uh, lucky sleep turns. Uh, we crit. That mattered. That mattered. <laughs> um, okay, Clef goes down. Clef's a huge threat. Out of the way. We get a kill for Axorus, which is nice as well. Let's see what he wants to bring in. I assume Scarf Darm, maybe. I assume Scarf Darm. Um, for which I have my Slowbro with, <laughs> with Tanga Berry, so I can take a U turn. Oh, it's such a threat, man. It really is. Really hard to deal with. Yeah, Darmana's hand. I go into my Slowbro. If I'm lucky, he Icicle crashes. If I'm not lucky, he U-turns and he wastes my Tanga Barry. And then the next time he U-turns, I just fucking drop. Let's see what he does. Goes for the U-turn. Tanga Barry. Okay, let's go, let's go. Creeping in the tech. I think he might go... That's Scarf damage, by the way. Damana turn to my Slowbro. U-turn with Tangerberry 20 to 25%. So that's that's great. Goes into more Pico. Do we even have a switch in for this, bro? It's a dark type. We don't like to see that. Let's be really honest, we don't like to see that. Um I can either go Umbreon or I can go Amoongus. I think I can go Amoongus since. What does Amoongus take from? More Pico. Twenty six if it's electric. So a little bit more if it's. I'm actually gonna switch in Amoongus because I don't need Amoongus anymore. Although I might not be willing to sack it. That is a ton. That actually does a ton. Okay, so keep in mind it's a fast, it's a fast one now. But if he wants to get another speed boost, he needs to. We're just gonna spore, right? That's what we do here. We spore, yeah, we always do. This clef isn't around anymore, so I can get to sleep another month. Ice Fang. He misses. I'm really sorry. I don't think that would have knocked out, but it might have actually. But more Pico is sleeping. Which means I get to pull a switch into my Haxorus. Um, yeah, Haxorus is fine. He doesn't have any switch -ins. He doesn't have any switch -ins, realistically. So let's go, Haxorus is in, Haxorus is now. I'm not too afraid of. Well, he can Ice Fang though if, he's, if he wakes up. Okay, maybe this is not the switch I'm, I'm in agreement with, but uh, an Ice Fang shouldn't kill. And I can just Earthquake. Maybe this is not a switch I'm happy about. He's still, he stays asleep, which is lucky. Um, maybe could have gone Keldeo better there. Is he Sash? Damn. How much does a more Pico Ice Fang do against my Haxorus? Haxorus. Ice Fang. 52% if it's max attack invested. Um, That's fine. 
I'm actually willing to take that for a kill unless we get like frozen. He parting shots actually. Okay, great, great. Um, let's see what he wants to go into. He can actually really go sweet, can he? But at least this thing is down to Sash. We don't have any hazards. So it's not like we can benefit from that. But uh, something is taking a Bandit Earthquake. A minus one Bandit Earthquake. I think it's going to be Suicune. My switching for Suicune is either going to be the Kalio. Or... Okay, if it's Sub Calm Mind. Then my switching is... Kaldeo. And I just secret sword, but I can't lose Caldeo. If it's like extra sensory, that's really bad. If he has extra sensory, I don't think I die. But okay, there's no one asleep right now on the field either, so that's great. Uh, I think I go Caldeo. I think I make an aggressive player because I can just secret sword on this thing, and I don't care about Carmine boost. I really don't care about him. Since I'm targeting physical defense, yeah, he goes for the sub here. I can break up with Secret Sword. So let's see how this pans out. Um, if he has extra sensory, he probably doesn't have Ice Beam. Which is nice, because then stuff like my Haxorus is better against it. And my Zapdos is also not bad against it either. Goes to the Calm Mind. Okay, that's fine, because I target... Um, what's it called? Physical Defense. I go for another one, I think. We can add plus one special attack. I just go for another one, like regardless of what he does. Um, my Kaleo, if he has extra sensory, extra... Sensory. Ooh, level 100 that kills. Uh, 62. If he doesn't have any special attack investment. There's a nice chunk. Just for another Calm Mind. Oh. Man's going for game. It's kind of scary if he's Rest Dog. Like Rest Dog. But then you only have Skull, right? And I'm not too scared of that. I just go for Secret Sword here. Because then you rest talk, come mind, sub. You, you need sub on there, so you're not rest talk at least. You can be rest. But then you only have one move, and that's probably Skull. Yeah, it's Skull, okay. Let's see, plus two Skull. Not doing anything. Not doing anything. Uh, I really hope it's not rest, bro. If it's rest, we might have to... I don't know exactly what we do if it's rest. He would draw Suicune. Goes into Gengar. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, we have a whole ass army for this thing. He can focus blast on the predict. He can sub nasty plot if he wants. Oh no, we don't want it to. Uh yeah, Umbreon comes in. We can just foul play or baton pass if you think he switches. If we just go for like Sludge Bomb or, or Sludge Weave or Shadow Ball here, I can just baton pass. In all honesty. So let's see what he wants to go for. If it's sub disable, that's annoying. D Gleam. Oh, I don't have a barrier for that. That's annoying. Um. Is that Specs? Uh, Gengar. Against my Umbreon. That's a very nice one. I'm out here just being Cobra Bear for nothing. That looks like it's Specs. Because otherwise it's never doing that much. So, uh, we can capitalize on this. In absolutely... Ah, uh, in a way that I don't really like. He might also just pull the switch if he's afraid for the foul play. However, foul play never kills him. So. It's good to know that Spexo, because Dazzling Gleam usually does 
33.6% if it's not specs, if it's like black sludge. So let's say 3 to 1 choice specs. Then it is 41 to 49%, which is what it did right now. So I think we see another D gleam here. Yeah. And then we're going to check if no one's asleep. But I don't think anyone is. <laughs> we're just going to fire off a spore. Spore is like the most overpowered move in the game, bro. I swear to God. No one's asleep. Let's go. Spore away. Which was getting, uh, I think, more Pico comes in. Yeah, more Pico is the sack here. That's fine. I don't think we have any setup mods that we can switch in on this, make use of. So I'm just going to grab the key with, uh, with what's it called here. I'm also just going to clear smog to not reveal any of the other moves. Not that that really matters, but it's better to keep him in the dark about something, you know? So we pick up a KO with Amoongus. I want to see who comes in here. I think it's the Dom. Down that is 50% with U-turn. But like if, it's, if he U-turns, he doesn't stay in, right? So I at least regain 33% if I switch out my slow bro. If I lose my Cali, I might lose to this thing. So let's see. Slow bro, still switching. If he has something like throw chop, that's annoying. But he plays it like it's scarfed. It's not like Zen mode or something. Like it does scarf uh, Gorilla Tactics damage. So at least we always know that it's locked in. If he goes for throw chop, I can always go into my Umbreon. We should take that fine. Umbreon always like takes one icicle crash at least. And I have the inner focus ability so I don't get flinched. So that's always a way I can at least get some chip off on this and then I have first impression on uh, what's the call to finish it off. Yeah, it goes for lash out. Okay, that's fine. This is 50%. That's fine, really. Because I can go into this thing, I guess. I can also go into it. No, I really don't want any damage on you. So I just go into Umbrione. I was calking for something, and I really don't know what. Dom on it's in G. Go to Lash it again. I'm just gonna wish up this turn because his Gengar is still alive and very scary. So we're just gonna wish. Yeah, power play always is like 75% on this thing from my Umbreon. It's weird that it only does 75% if its defenses like are so garbage. Brings in a Reggie Steel. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna wish protect it if it's Iron Defense shenanigans or Rock Polish. That's gonna be annoying. But I think I can always spore it with the Moongus. Spore is such an overpowered move, bro. Um, we're just gonna protect. He might go for the rocks. Like if it's Iron Defense. Do I have a problem with Iron Defense? Maybe it's just like Seismic Toss, Heavy Slam, that kind of stuff. Um, how much does that even do against my Umbreon? Not a lot at all. Let's see what he wants to go for. I'm faster. Go to the body press. Okay. I think I can always switch and Stobro on this. And then teleport. Uh, although he might Toxic. That's annoying. But I can just... I can just kind of do this. I can just always do this and pivot out with teleport. And then I should be in a decently commanding position. Go to the body press again. That's fine. Nice, we go for teleport. Wasn't just weekend. Okay, we're going to Zapdos. If I remember correctly, he didn't bring the um, the Quagsire, so I can freely uh, I can freely T-ball here. 
which should do a lot of damage to most things. Yeah, we just go, uh, we just go you here. We go zap. I also could have gone Axis to be fair. Axis kills this thing as well, probably with an EQ. Well, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, we just go, let's see, Mons. No reason not to go for a T-Ball here. Timer is at the 5 minute mark now. We take out Suicune, that's amazing. He goes into Dharma again if I'm... I'm guessing crit didn't matter, I, I, I guess. Let's go Zapdos against my... Or against the Suicune. Level 15. Yeah, T-Ball's always doing like 64% or something. Goes into Dharm again. Nice, if he goes for Lash Out, we can always go back into, you know what. But I think he U-turns here. U-turn is the only way he can actually get really permanent damage off on my, uh, on my Slowbro. So, we go into the Slowbro. I think he U-turns into the Gengar. Yeah, U-turn. Doing a solid 50%. Jesus, this thing is so scary. It's like really scary. Um, yeah. Goes into Gengar, okay. Gengar specs, we know. So we can always go this and pivot into the Amoongus if necessary. But it doesn't seem scary in the face of a Psychic type one. So he might not go for it. It's good to know that two of the mons he has left are choiced and the other one is a Reggie Seal. So at least comforting. He goes for the Shadow Ball. That's fine. I think I just baton pass here. Cause he's not staying in. There's no way. Um I have baton pass here. I think he goes Reggie Seal. I don't have a really quick way of eliminating Reggie Steel. Yeah, he will draw, I guess, Reggie Steel is coming out. Into the dumb mana and Oh, a foul play would have. A foul play would have done damage. A foul play would have done damage. See, the thing is, he has a really switch, a free switch into Gengar, because I almost. I'm almost always obligated to Secret Sword here. It's, but that's fine, really. Um. Yeah, not so me. Yeah, I should have foul played in the end. Uh, just go for secret sword. Did I already go for that? Oh, precious weekend. Precious weekend. I could have messed me up really badly. Goes Gengar here. Reggie still actually, so we get damage off on this. Uh, but he probably knows I'm Scar, so I'm gonna pull the double into Umbreon. That's nice damage. That's nice damage. So. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the double into Umbreon, and I think I'm gonna foul play, I guess, if his switch for this is the mana turn. He maybe knows that Reggie still just can't touch me. Let's see. He body presses, actually. Okay, cool. <laughs> Colba activates, I guess, for this purpose. Nice. Didn't think he'd go for that. Didn't think he'd go for that. My Umbreon is weakened. But I think it just goes for another one. So I can pivot into my slow roll and then teleport out. I need to watch my secret sword PP. Because secret sword is the only way I kill Darmanasan. Goes into Darmanasan. Fine. Fine by me. I. Is there a reason to teleport? I can also just skull. Is it worth it? No, not really. So I teleport here. He U-turns here. That's fine. Do I really have anything that outspeeds Gengar? Outside of my Scarfer? I don't think I do. If he goes Gengar here, that's maybe a problem. Yeah, because my Umbreon is in range of... What's it called? I can also just go Amoongus and Spore something. 
Um, yeah, this is in range. So I can better go Amoongus. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Amoongus and Spore something. Let's go for a Spore, yeah. Like the monsters left are still super scary. Because Gengar can kill my Umbreon now since it's like really weakened. We see the Registeel, I guess. Yeah, Registeel comes out. That's fine, that's fine. I really hope he wants to waste sleep turns. Because then I can go into my... Because then I can go into my Axorus. But if he switches into Darm now, he have a problem. I have I switch at first, so I think he stays in. There's no way I don't add speed. More breaker. Okay, I think I pick up a kill with earthquake now. So that's nice. Earthquake coming out. If he lets me kill the registeel, that means that the only two months he has left are choiced. It's also really nice that I just keep KOing my sleep targets, because that means there's no <laughs> he doesn't have any mons on the field left that are that are slept. So I can just keep sporing. Goes into Dom, I just go into Slowbro. There's no need to risk anything here. So I just go into Slowbro. If he lashes out, I can go into Umbreon. At that point I kinda just foul play, I think. I might have just I might also just wish, because Umbreon kinda 1v2s him. Well, not really. He goes for Crash. Okay, that's fine. I can actually set up a future side here, because they both don't want to take it. Yeah, I set up a future side here. If he flinches me, that's annoying. Because then I think I lose him on, right? I wish I had Psychic now over, what's it called, Future Side. But it is what it is. Future Side, how much does that do to Stobro to Dark Mana Tan? G. Uh, future Side does 70%. It's always nice damage. So I go into this thing, because I think he de-gleams, maybe? Predicting the Umbreon? You know what move I can click? You know what move I can click? <laughs> it's called Spore. Goes for Wisp. Is that a Specs Gengar with Wisp? Holy. You know what move I can click? Oh. Yeah, I can click Spore. Goes for Wisp again because he's locked. I can Spore here. That's fine, that's fine. I can switch into my... Oh, he just lets it drop to Future Sight. Stobro picking up a kill. And then he needs to lock it to move with Galarian Domanitan. And I think he might be able to pick up 6 away. Unless something really unfortunate happens to my Stobro. So I go into slow row first. I go into slow row first, I think. If he crashes, I can actually directly switch into my Keldeo. I think. Let me let me check that real quick. Ice Core Crash from Scarf doing 42%. Yeah. If he crashes, I might just also pick up the kill with the... Uh, what's it called? With my little slow row here. Skull is 48%. Can also get the kill to Kelio. I just switched to Kelio here. There's no reason to make this match last longer than it has to. 
So unless he uber super mega crits there, he actually misses. Uh, shouldn't really matter, but yeah. I just secret sword here, and that should do it. Yeah, GG to Kershaka. He has such a scary team, bro. But the Moong is put in work, and Moong is actually put in work. He has no, he had no sleep switchings, and we kind of just really abused that. Also, just because he let uh, the targets that I slept just uh, get KO'd, then I get to sleep another month. Since then, I don't break sleep falls, which was really nice. So, uh, yeah, once again, GG. Please go check him out. His link will be in the description down below to get all the other coaches' links. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Peace.